How's it going everybody? So this is Jamie here and I just recently had a really rough time um, trying to deal with a Windows 10 automatic update issue. Uh, basically what happened is there was an update that was going on Windows 10 and I think I went to shut down the computer and you know it shut down but there was an error and when I went to restart the computer it just went into an automatic loop of continually saying hey we're gonna repair your computer and this is a very common problem and I had to troubleshoot it for myself and eventually bring it over to a shop but I just want to share some keynotes with you uh, to, that might actually help you fix your situation or just know what to look for in order to fix it if you have to bring it out um, so basically whenever you have this kind of an issue with Windows repair loop there's something wrong um, with the startup uh, coding so basically there's an error there and so it won't let you go over to your your uh, Windows program and, and open up and the most common way that this is fixed is through a, uh, I guess you could say a repair disk. And what happens is with Windows, you're able to create a repair, either a CD or DVD or a USB. You know, you can put um, a repair system onto a, a USB drive. And if your computer's already down and you don't have that, then that could be a problem. You have to either use another computer like I did. I had another computer that was running the exact same Windows operating system. So it had Windows 10. It was a 64-bit uh, bit based system, um, so I was able to do that. But even if you can do that, you know, go to a friend's and get that created, or you know, go to a neighbor's and get that created, or something like that, or even order one from the manufacturer. It may not necessarily work. As in my case, I tried to do the start repair disk thing. I used uh, the USB drive, plugged it in, tried to run it um, by uh, you know having my computer run from there first. And if you didn't know how that works, basically when you start your computer, some of you might hit escape or F2 or, or a key like that, and it sets you into your, your BIOS. And basically what that is, is if you didn't know what that means, it means your computer's kind of mainframe on that is the programming with your, your computer itself that loads the software with Windows. And then you set to, by default, load from, instead of your main hard drive that you normally have, a USB stick or possibly a CD or DVD. And so, you know, I, I did that. I tried to load it from my uh, USB stick. I put in the USB 3.0 stick and I had Windows 10 recovery there. Didn't work. I couldn't do it um, with, you know, trying to do a system restore. I couldn't try doing it with um, going to a specific point, you know, back in time. I couldn't do it with start repair. Nothing would work. And I did a couple of other things and they might work for you. They didn't work for me in this case. Um, some people say that you know you might use check disk where you go to the command prompt and you use this kind of command language to have your computer kind of see if it can fix things. And I put the links down to the things I'm talking about below. I'm not going to go into detail about them, but basically it's just another way to try to fix things. Um, and there's another thing uh, called the BCD edit um, where you can try to possibly you know work through that again through commands in order to fix it. But again, for me, it didn't work either. You know, here I was, I tried to do a lot of the, you know, technical things to try to fix this and it just didn't go. And so eventually it came to a point where I'm like, okay, maybe I can use another software to fix this. So I tried using Ubuntu on a, uh, a USB 3.0, running Ubuntu um, as a so you know, software and trying to load the other disk, use it as a slave. Um, that didn't work either. Through Ubuntu, I couldn't pull up the other drive. And so I was at a point where I'm like, I'm out of options with the, the hardware that I had. And if you're like me in that situation where these things don't work, you can't just use, you know, a start repair disk, either CD, DVD, or USB. You try to do check disk. You try to do maybe a, another type of command thing with like BCD edit. Um, you try to use another software uh, to load another, you know, kind of uh, operating system software and see if you can access the hard drive. If you're past all those points, then like me, you're like, okay, I got to give this to someone. And so I knew at this point that I was going to have to give it to someone who's going to have to take the hard drive out, put it to a new machine, and pull out my old files from there. They were going to have to manually take that out. And the person who I, I went to, they were, they were fantastic. I love my experience with them. Um, and, you know, they had uh, great integrity. Uh, but the, the thing was, is even they were like, we have software that might be able to fix it, but even their software um, wasn't able to fix my automatic repair loop. So you might get to that point where you can't fix it, but you shouldn't despair because 
there's a good chance that you're going to be able to pull your files. They're just going to have to, you know, you're going to have to take it either to, uh, you know, kind of computer repair shop. I mean, maybe you could do Geek Squad, but for me, I was like, uh-uh, I know, you know, I know what to look for in a computer store. I found a great one and was able to get them to take my files, pull them all off. They put it on an external drive, and then I had the computer store just re set and reboot everything with my computer, uh, which meant they reinstalled Windows on it. They put, you know, um, security software on it. Um, they got, you know, my, my uh, office suite stuff. They got, you know, the, the core back. So they kind of refreshed my computer and pulled my files. Of course, if you maybe have a new computer and it crashes and you don't have anything on there, or you already had everything backed up, then it doesn't matter. You can maybe use the repair disk to just say, okay, let's go ahead and restart. Let's clean the drive, wipe everything, start fresh. You know, you'll lose everything that you had that was on there, but you can start fresh. But that's what I had to do because I had a lot of files on there and I, I do have regular backups, but there was still a couple things that even within that short amount of time that I was like, I really needed those things and it was worth it for me to pay and get it done. And you know, I, I think that they're charged about $60 just to pull it. And I was out the door 1.30 with a full system reset that, you know, like they manually like cleaned up my computer, took out any dust, the gunk, reinstalled software, got me everything on my external drive, and it was all good. But I just wanted to say all these solutions because I didn't see a specific source that had the whole process here. So again, just kind of recapping all this, you know, there's several ways you can do it. You can use a repair disc, um, either through a, a, you know, a CD, DVD, or a USB kind of drive. You could try using, um, you know, a, a command prompt line with check disk, um, which you'll see below, or, you know, BCD edit. But again, it didn't work because it didn't work for me and didn't work for the person who I brought to at the computer store. Um, or you can, you know, take out the hard drive. And, you know, of course, you're not an expert with this. You should probably give it to somebody else and just take out the files using other, another system. Um, but, you know, don't despair if you have that. You know, I was pretty down, but I knew it could be done. It was just like, ah, this, this really stinks. And if you're trying to avoid this in the future, I recommend seriously make sure you know you have your computer set to automatic, automatically back up to some sort of external, um, you know something that's maybe got a terabyte. So that no matter what, you always have everything being backed up. Um, make sure you have a repair disk created. If you haven't already created one, you can just use um, it's, it's built into your your Windows operating system. You can hit create a repair disk and have it written to a DVD, CD, or uh, a USB. USB is most common these days, and that way you, you know you could have your own repair solutions no matter what. Um, watch your updates. You know, I turn my automatic updates off, and that way I can check and know when updates are going to happen. You know, because if you just shut down in the middle of that, then you could really go into something much worse than an automatic repair loop. Um, and of course, create a restore point. Um, you can actually just type into your search bar, create a restore point. Make sure you have restore point set for yourself, so if everything's good, you know, you might be able to go to a restore point in case things don't work out. But I hope that helps your thought process. You know, in terms of what things and options there are to fix automatic loop problems what the end goal might end up being if if you're out of luck you know don't don't fret just take the stuff with you know maybe an external or something like that bring it over to a, a reputable pc repair place get them to pull your files refresh your system you just gotta you just gotta deal with it but there are some solutions and hopefully they work for you more so than they worked for me um so thanks so much everybody for uh, listening and i'll talk to you later take it care take care and thank you